Hey guys, I am back today. I'm going to show you um, two new plates from Dixie Plates. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to do my next few videos a little bit differently. Um, you know I haven't been here for a while. I My book got published and that's been kind of busy and then my camera broke and uh, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, the point is I'm going to do this a little differently. Let me know if you miss seeing the actual process of the stamping and we will go from there. Um, but first, this is Dixie Plates Mega Manny Mix 03. So you can see there's a lot of awesome things. Flowers, which she does really, really well. Gemstones, some Art Deco and some ge geometrical stuff. Uh, so lots of, oh, I, this is one of my favorites. I want to do a Manny where like this goes off of two nails that way and a couple of nails the other way. I think you could play with that. You could put this in the center. That would be really cool. All kinds of different flowers. Don't forget to use these for like French tips or um, up in your cuticles. Those can be super cute too. And then she's got some accents down here uh, for you to be able to kind of mix and match with stuff. Gorgeous detail that you can do here. Reverse stamping or like stamping this in gold over a smoosh mani would be really, really cool. Uh, the mandalas. I love the Art Deco or Art Nouveau kind of feel to that one. So gorgeous. And I think this goes really well with this one. Um, yeah, so mix and match all of those. I love, this is just great texture, whether you kind of highlight, you do this in greens because it's leafy, or you do it in any kind of colors. Um, this is gorgeous kind of brocade. So this is a great plate, especially for beginners. You don't have a lot of different images, and you want a plate that you can, boom, grab a lot of different images that you can use a lot of techniques with. How pretty would this be? with that by the way really super cute all right and then also just come out is uh minimal animal print sorry minimal animal print um by dixie plates and so this is some classic sorry my cat is chewing on stuff over here no no okay so speaking of animals and animal print um this has got some classic animal prints snake skins you know amphibians cheetahs your zebras um, I like this this could also just be um, geometrics as well as like turtle kind of things um, so you know animal prints standard stuff but also what I love to do with animal prints is like contrasting neons so like lime green over a bubblegum pink and that's just super cute and fun in the summer um, you can also go with pastels so like pastel cheetahs like pastel pink over white or come on baby come on <sighs> he's like, Mama, I want to play with the animal print plate. Please, please, could you do my nails? Nope, sorry, not enough. Your, your nails aren't big enough, honey. Just sorry, they're not big enough. Um, so yeah, so play around with the colors there is the point. All right, so let's go look at some sample manis. Okay, so let's take a look at the sample looks. So this one, I sort of tried to do kind of a golden poppy effect. I love these colors together. So this is a base of Zoya B. There you go, there's that. And I stamped with It Girl Nail Art in Mimosa. All right, for the next one, I have, oh, I left this one matte because I think it just looks so cool, all mattified. So again, going with some, you know, non-traditional colors with these animal prints. So that is Sally Hansen Insta Dry Matte in Smoky Silver. And I left that matte and I stamped over it with uh, color alike in aquarium. And I'm going to have a, a review of these coming up soon. All right, next, I wanted to play around with um, something really elegant here with this pattern. So I started with a base of Zoya Kira, this brown, and then stamped over it with girly bits forget me not ah uh. all right and then the last swatch stick is this one i was actually going to double stamp this in black and then do it in white um but i love how classy that looks i love how that came out so i just left it like that and this is sally henson insta dry matte in gold rush and then it is just stamped with kaleidoscope black and also I've got two looks on my nails, so this is the are those kind of Bollywoodish patterns there. And that is a base of Zoya Rocky. This beautiful color here. And then I stamped with a uh, color alike. What did I do with it? Color alike in um, Kiwis. 
And then on this hand, I wanted to go all kinds of crazy with that cheetah. So I started with the base of Zoya B again, and except for this nail, which is a base of Zoya Cam. And then I stamped it all with this Kaleidoscope Pink, and then with the It Girl Nail Art Mimosa. And what I love is how, depending on how you've stamped it, it makes the, the yellow underneath it look different. I think that's really cool. So these plates are lots of fun, lots of awesome fun potential here, and thank you for watching.